Hello, this video will show you the basic functionality of testing with Tessie. We will go through the following central test activities, creating a new module and specifying its settings, determining test cases, entering test data and expected values, executing the test, evaluating and documenting the test. We start with an empty project and only one source file available in our project, a simple source code example called range.c within the test cockpit view. Let's have a look into this source file. It contains one simple function. We will now create a new module with all the necessary settings to test this source file. Within the test cockpit view, we select the source file range.c and choose new modules from the context menu. A dialog with different settings tabs opens. The first tab, general, shows the settings as selected by default, whereas the other tabs contain include paths and defines that we do not need for this simple example. A new module will now be created and analyzed. After this operation, we have a new test collection in the test project view, containing the analyzed module with the test object is value and range. Let's switch to the test interface editor, where we can see the parameters and the return value of the function. For all variables, we can see which passing directions Tessie has determined, that is, which ones are input and output variables. Now we switch back to the overview perspective and the test items view. We will add three test cases, each with one test step. We are now ready to enter test data and switch to the TDE test data editor perspective. In the TDE, you can see the test cases and steps in tabular form. Now we will define the input and output values for our test cases. After all test data is entered, the test cases are ready to run. In the Test Project View toolbar, we click the arrow next to the Execute Test icon and select Edit Test Execution Settings. To analyze the source code coverage of the test, we will run it with branch and MCDC coverage instrumentation. After analyzing, we can see that there is one failed result value. We will switch to the Coverage Viewer CV to see what branches have been taken. As we can see in the flowchart, the second decision and the if branch were not covered and reached. The respective code section is highlighted within the source code view. From our source code, we would expect another branch to be taken with our third test case. There is obviously an error within the code. We change the last condition operator from greater to greater equal and save the changes. After this update has been made, we switch back to the test project view to execute the test. After executing the test, we can see that all test cases are passed now. So we switch back to the coverage viewer and see all branches were reached and all decisions were fully covered. Let's switch back to the overview perspective. Now we are ready to create a test details report. In the test project view of the overview perspective, click on the arrow next to the generate report icon and select edit test details report settings. In the dialog, you can select the report options you need. Tessie will now create the report within the given folder and automatically open the PDF report file. 